Hey there, this is Marty with Digital Design Tips. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do page numbers in InDesign. Very helpful, especially if you're using uh, working on a document with lots of pages. I'm going to open this with facing pages on... It doesn't really matter, you can always change that later, but it gives you a double master. Um, so we're going to do it on the master page. That way it'll apply itself to all the other pages automatically. Um, so check it out. We're on the left master page up here. I'm going to grab a text box like so and we'll type a one in it. I'm going to make this a little big so I don't have to zoom in and you can see all the pages at the same time. Um, okay. Quickly align this guy. Put it down there. Okay. So, um, you can see I've got this. I'm going to make the turn this into an actual page number now. You select the text itself. You have to type, insert special character, markers, and do current page number, which at the moment is A because it's a master page A. Now you can, uh, I'm going to copy and paste this guy, put it over here. Also, page number. Now, uh, check this out. We're going to go down to our actual pages. Uh, page one. Boom. There it is. Make a new page. Page two. Page three. See that? You can see both of them right there. Page two. Page three. Page two. Page three. Just keeps on going. Um, so, there you have that. Um, that's the basics of it. And let me show you some other stuff you can do here. Uh, like another thing uh, is important. This is more of a master page thing, but you need to know this if you're going to do it like I just did. Because now that we're on the, the actual pages, page two, page three, say you wanted, uh, I don't know, your page has like a red trim or something on the bottom, you know, uh, and you want the to show across the board like this. And here, let's just I'm just going to make one over here, red. You notice that now your, your master page elements got covered up. Like I said, this is more of a master page element thing, but this is possibly something that you're going to run into with page numbers because a lot of times you don't really, you know, a lot of people don't use master pages for for this type of stuff. So I'm going to show you why that's happening. Uh, you want to select your page numbers here when you're back on the master page. It's on a layer. That's that's the issue. Um, go to your layers and make a new one. Layer two. Now you see layer two is above layer one. You can drag those around. See that? So I want to make sure it's up here. And I'm gonna just do a cut. And you know, I, I'm on the new layer, layer two. And I'm gonna paste it in place. So they go right back to where they were. And you can even lock that so you don't mess with it, but you'll see here in a second. I'm back to layer one. And look at that. I can move these around still, but these are now, you see the color is red because it's the layer color over here. And now you can do that. See? Um, and they're still all there. And, you know, like in addition to that, you can even go back here. And, oops, wrong layer. Uh, but you know, the the key to this layer thing I'm teaching is just you should put your your page numbers on a new layer. It's kind of crucial. And um, you, know, you can even put page in there because remember we selected just the text. So this is the page number. This isn't. And uh, do that over here, or we can just, you know, like we did earlier, just copy and paste that thing. Piece of cake. We can make a, you know, maybe align that left, align this right, and let's go have a look. Ready? Page one, page two, page three, page four, and then. Nice of Adobe to make that for us, <laughs> but you know, so that's the basics. Uh, 
yeah, it's a really, really good feature and uh, very time consuming. Uh, I mean, sorry, time saving. You know. But uh, it's time consuming, I was going to say, without this. So there you have it. Uh, hopefully that helped. And subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'm going to be uh, making some more InDesign ones now. So uh, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.